Welcome to Data Viz Daily. I'm Kevin McGinley, and we're still working with that City of Los Angeles listing of active businesses. And since in a previous episode I created uh, latitude, longitude uh, columns out of our location field using the stage area, I thought I would sort of plot uh, some latitude, longitudes on the map and start playing around with the map a little bit. To filter the data down, um, I did use the group field that I created in yesterday's episode to just focus on the services businesses. Um, and just to keep the data set manageable here, I focused on the city of Santa Monica, which, fun fact, I used to live in Santa Monica. And you can see here we've got a sort of cluster of businesses within Santa Monica. We've also got one guy out here that's sort of a... Uh, lone wolf because his latitude longitude is is probably got an error um, you can also see the map that we're using here is not the greatest map to tell that this is even Santa Monica um, if we actually go into the properties area here we have the ability to change the the type of map that we're working with um, all visualizations have this properties area where you can control some general things like title type legend you can control how the numbers display but here, specific to the map, we have a choice between three different background maps. Thematic, which is more of sort of a black and white map. Oracle BI, which is, is still a color neutral map, but it is, um, you know, got a little bit more sort of roads and areas, city names, things like that. Um, so this is a good one if you don't like the full on sort of Google Maps look. But if you do like that, we also have Oracle Maps here, which we'll switch to now as well. Um, and you can see here this introduces, you know, sort of colors and, and a lot more geographical features and more specifics around roads, etc. So um, we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of this guy, uh, filter him out by doing a right click and do remove selected. And that'll allow us to sort of focus the map a little bit better. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a double click twice here to sort of drill into the Santa Monica area. Um, and just kind of move this over a little bit. And you can see here, if I hover over, I get the sort of latitude, longitude, but I don't actually see the business name. Now, what we can do here is in this sort of drop zone here called category, even though the business name is not really anything that can be plotted, we can drag this in here and see that uh, once we do, it'll still sort of plot things from a latitude, longitude perspective. But now when I do the hover, I can actually, oh, course it doesn't work there we go have to have one that's got a business name so you can see there the um, DBA name displays in the hover where it's available looks like we've got uh, quite a number of businesses that don't have a name oh I have the DBA name maybe I gotta grab the business name here instead let's drag that in and see if we get a better hit goes to show you what the quality of my data is like. Definitely better here now. We see some uh, business names showing up. Um, and while I don't have too many metrics here, you know, if I wanted to, for example, highlight, you know, the council district of each one by some sort of color or bubble size, I can't do that because these drop zones require um, a metric. And so since the only metric I have is location count, Let's go ahead and, and drag that into the map shape so you can just see quickly what that does to our map. Instead of plotting individual places, we now get a sort of uh, heat map, if you will, that kind of shows us the density. Um, and, you know, at this sort of perspective, you know, not expecting that there's not going to be a lot of overlap of latitude, longitude, you can see here that there's not uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, sort of variation in our numbers here. But if we did have that, what this would provide us is a nice sort of, nice sort of heat map of the area um, and where certain businesses reside. So you can see here this darker blue means that there are a couple businesses that share the exact same latitude longitude. Um, so what that probably means is that we need to go up a level from latitude longitude into something else. And next time on uh, Data Viz Daily, I'll do just that and show you some examples of using the map uh, in a more of a heat map type fashion with some better data choices. Thanks for watching.